But there's now clips that have been circulating on Twitter that I've seen where they've clipped him completely out of context. Some of this response to Ethan is because he's Jewish. I'm telling you, some of this is rooted in anti-Semitism. Ethan Klein is Jewish. He probably supports the IDF. You. All I did was unfollow you on Twitter. You want to make a big f deal about it? You. I've only ever heard you talk about me supporting Palestine. Are you f dumb? Like, how <laughs> dare you even say that? You True. scumbag. But it's quite clear where any sort of critical thinking might be. She's just replaced it purely with ideology. This is absolutely unbearable to watch someone who is clearly so low IQ. We've now got a bit of drama to get into. We've now got, no, no more. We're getting into the main event now. We're getting into the main thing I wanted to talk about. We've got some drama spinning off off of this which I think is going to be very interesting to have a look at. And this drama is likely to continue into tomorrow as well, as I believe that Les Leftovers is recording later, which is obviously the podcast between Ethan and Hassan. And one of the parties involved, one of the parties involved <laughs> is associated somewhat with Hassan, I would argue. So Frogan is a Twitch streamer who is like kind of like a Hassan orbiter. Um, I remember at TwitchCon, you know, they were knocking about with all the kind of leftoid streamers, to put it simply, right? And she had a interesting take originally on what was going on, which is central to this whole drama. Leftists preach and foam at the mouth at the thought of a revolution happening in America, but as soon as it happens in the Middle East, what they're doing is wrong. So this statement was made in response to, you know, what we now see as an insane atrocity, terrorist atrocity. And I think even early on, the signs were there that this wasn't just some sort of act of revolution or targeting military targets. This was a terrorist attack against civilians. And even early indications made that quite clear. So, you know, people want to play this game where they act like, oh, well, actually, I've, I've thought about it and all oh, turns out there's a bunch of terrorism happening the earliest reports that were coming out were were very clearly indicating that this was some sort of terrorist atrocity we just didn't quite know the scale of what had happened yet and obviously now we know the scale it's even worse when you look at some of these takes but even at the time the fact that someone would call this like a revolution when it is literally you know islamist terrorists slaughtering people you know innocent civilians is is crazy and then obviously civilian deaths. Okay, still, where was this energy for Palestinians all these years? And then they share one of those kind of simplified graphs that you see where it's like, oh, look how simple this all is. Let me just show you a graph to demonstrate it. Not really that interested in this conversation, but more so the fact that Frogan, for some reason, felt the need to come out and claim that there was some sort of revolution happening. And it was a good thing. Anyway. Then... This happened. The face from one of your favorite content creators unfollows for being pro-Palestine. And what's so, what's so funny about this is this person apparently is so wedded to their conviction until, like, there's some clout to be lost. Until there's some fucking clout to be lost. And then all of a sudden, oh, wait, my favorite, they can't follow me because I was pro-Palestine. What the hell? Also, I don't think it's because you're pro-Palestine that they unfollowed you. It's probably because you immediately went to try and downplay the act of insane terrorism that had occurred. So anyway, Frogan was not happy. And the person they're talking about, we now know, obviously, is Ethan Klein. Is Ethan Klein. Now, I'll just say this because I'm not going to watch his original video on stream. Can't take the ads, have my money. Thank you, Tomato Brief, for the sub. Um, Ethan Klein did a segment on all this and Ethan Klein made it explicitly clear that he is against like the Israeli state. He's against the Israeli government. He criticized Netanyahu repeatedly. He said he talked about how, how um, awful and terrible the situation in Gaza is. He spoke out against the settlements. You know, he was about as critical as you could possibly imagine of like Israeli state policy and what they've been doing. Right. He was explicitly critical of it numerous times throughout this video. Right. 
At the same time as making these criticisms, he was also critical of the online left and he was critical of the people who were like foaming at the mouth at the thought of dead Israeli civilians. And he was pointing out, you know, Welcome just how despicable Nation. these people were and how horrendous it was. Shite. Thank you very much for the sub. And it was a great segment and I'd recommend that you go and watch that in full. But there's now clips that have been circulating on Twitter that I've seen where they've clipped him completely out of context and it sounds like he's just saying that Americans should be slaughtered. The point he's making is if you as an American are, are cheering this on, how is that any different to like people from Iraq coming over to America and just slaughtering you and your family in your neighborhood and it being cheered on because you're the bad guys in that situation? You know, he's kind of pointing out how insane it is. Obviously, Funnily enough, we have seen these takes where people are like, oh, yeah, if the Native Americans came for me, I just sit back and take it and get murdered happily because people are just absolute virtue signaling retards on Twitter. And, you know, having no skin in the game makes it easy to say these things without actually committing to it or you know, going through with that. And my thought process is with that is like, OK, well, do it then. You could do it right now. If you think you're a settler on stolen land and you're doing something wrong, you could sort that issue out right now, couldn't you? If you know what I mean, right? But these people don't do that. They just sit on Twitter and act like they'd be there getting bayoneted by some fucking savage happily because they're a settler on stolen land. It's total delusional bullshit these people are engaging in. Anyway, very frustrating, very frustrating to see. In fact, I'll just give you a quick example of that because this one was doing the rounds um, a couple of days ago. Anyway, the basic point is there's a bunch of people who were unironically agreeing with this idea that, oh, yeah, if Native Americans rose up and wanted to kill me, I'd willingly accept it. Not only is that an insane virtue signaling position to have that you never hold, right? Also, it's kind of racist because you're acting like indigenous people are just savages that want to fucking slaughter you. Which isn't true. Most indigenous people in America do not want to rise up and slaughter whites. You know, they just want the, you know, historic agreements recognized or whatever the stuff that they want is, right? But this idea that they're going to come round with a fucking tomahawk and fucking scalp you. Unbelievable. Anyway, very stupid takes. Ethan Klein was incredibly based. Was incredibly based. Oh, she apologized. Lots of, lots of egg on people's face. I'm loving this. Oh, the, the, this is so brilliant. I'm loving the fact that so many people are showing themselves and are now having to, like, apologize for saying the most insane, unhinged thing you ever heard. Says something stupid. I was careless in my phrasing and apparently came off as buying into something I was trying to criticize. Okay. Wow. Unlucky. Get that egg off your face. Gobble that egg down. Okay, let's not get too... Anyway. So anyway, Ethan, this was about Ethan Klein. So Ethan Klein unfollowed Frogan because Frogan was saying unhinged things. I've shown you one example. There's tons of examples of Frogan just completely downplaying and, and minimizing the actions of Hamas to, you know, create this criticism of, of Israel. And this gives you an idea of the kind of mentality that we're engaging with. Lady, please, there is a massive difference between being pro-Palestine and pro-Hamas. What's it like being brain dead? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's obviously difficult to know 100% what they're trying to say here because it's just one sentence. But yeah, you probably want to be a bit clearer in your communication. I know it's Twitter, but like... <laughs> sounds, sounds like you're disagreeing with the idea that you can separate these two entities, but what do I know? Anyway... Anyway, there's also other criticisms of Frogan that have come in, which I think are worth thinking about. Like, for example, you know, she cr literally cried on stream um, because Ms. Kiff kind of backhandedly insulted her over her winning some award or something like that. Very funny stuff, very entertaining, good content. But nonetheless, let's try and focus on what's important. So anyway, this is uh, Frogan's perspective. So Ethan, funnily enough, actually responded to this because Frogan put a bunch of messages into Discord about this too. 
Ethan Klein unfollowed Frogan. Ethan Klein unfollowed me, Lamal. Why am I sad? Ethan, I'll support the IDF, refollow me. Ethan probably was like, this damn Arab supports Hamas. What's funny about this for me is this is a pretty clear indication that Frogan has not actually watched Ethan Klein's content about this whatsoever because Ethan Klein would probably agree with the overall criticism of Israel and the IDF and whatnot. But Ethan's problem is the fact that lefties are celebrating and cheering on civilians getting slaughtered. That's Ethan's whole point with this. You know, he agrees Israel bad, Israel terrible. He it decries what happens in Gaza. He was tearing Netanyahu to shreds on his stream and talking about how terrible he is. But for some reason, you know, because these people refuse to um, denounce Hamas, Ethan obviously is critical of that and is saying you're cheering on terrorism and I doubt you would cheer it on if it happened in your neighborhood, to put it, you know, in a fairly simple terms. But it's so funny to me that this Frogan person, you know, is, is so, has such a lack of commit, committal to her principles on this that she freaks out because a big creator unfollowed them on Twitter. Who <laughs> cares? It's a fucking Twitter follow. What does it matter? Um, but yeah, she's, she's obviously, um, I think since issued out a clarification where she's been critical of the deaths and she's sort of trying to act like, oh, well, you know, surely you would have thought that I was criticizing all the deaths that are happening. It's like, no, you called it a revolution. You called it a revolution when it first happened. Like, can we stop being dishonest about what's going on here? Anyway, Frogan is obviously very upset about the fact that Ethan is unfollowed. And then thankfully... I mean, Ethan posted this as well, that, pre that post about the revolution. People are talking about me unfollowing Frogan, so I'll explain why, since she wants to talk about it. Murdering children and burning families alive in their safe houses is not a revolution, it's a massacre. And if you think that's what a revolution is supposed to look like, I'm terrified for your idea of an American revolution. Welcome to Chud Nation. All it took was a little clout taken away for this person to backtrack a bit. Well, this is what I'm saying about this whole thing. All the people that have done this, to me, are stained. Because how can you be sure that they're not just backtracking because they're worried about backlash, or in this case, getting unfollowed on Twitter, right? How can you be sure that their new expression of sentiment is true when it's in response to heavy criticism, and in this case, getting off on us on Twitter. Like, to me, it doesn't come across as like a genuine expression of, oh yeah, I really messed up. It's like, oh, I'm in trouble in some way. Quickly get a statement out and now uh, condemn it a bit. Like that, that'll do. Because I can, un look, I understand there are some hardline pro-Israel shields that are like completely supportive of leveling Gaza, right? That's insane, right? And I can understand antagonism towards people that think, you know, uh, endless civilian death of Palestinians is the correct answer, right? But Ethan Klein is, is not one of those people. Ethan Klein has d issued out very specific, clear criticisms of Israel, very clear criticisms of Israel. And for some people, that still isn't enough. Ethan Klein, again, this is something you can kind of look at. Ethan Klein is getting like hauled over the coals for his take when his take is Israel is terrible. Netanyahu is terrible. Gaza, the response in Gaza is terrible. The settlements are terrible. It's all disgusting, despicable stuff, but you shouldn't cheer on terrorism. And if you do, what would you do if it happened to your family? That's his take. That's his perspective. It's like, the most reasonable take you could imagine. And that still is not enough for these people because, you know, his criticism of them not calling out Hamas adequately is considered to be, I don't know, like he's a, he's like a pretty, he's like just as bad as that Lynch clip we watched earlier, calling it a holy war and Israel, you know, Gaza should be flattened and Israel, um, you know, we need to back them up to the hill and stuff like that. It's crazy. Anyway, Ethan spoke about this further. So let's have a look at that and see what he had to say for himself. I don't know if this is drama. I guess this is turning into a drama that I can talk about. Is that this girl Froggen? Who? Here, let me see. Frogan. 
Oh, oh, Frogan? You got the name That's wrong. What I'm I, bar- I don't even really, I don't even know how to say her name. I just followed her because, um, you know, there was a lot of uh, mutuals that, that were following her, and it's, she seemed like a nice person, so um, that, that's why I followed her. Thank you. She was a mod for Hassan, and me and Lena are friends with her as well. Okay. Yeah. So she seems like a nice person, but like most things, or like some people I'm seeing, are just really um, leaving their humanity at the door when it comes to what's happening. The by the house. way, yeah, that is, you're correct, by the way. Some of this response to Ethan is because he's Jewish. I'm telling you, some of this is rooted in anti-Semitism. Lefty anti-Semitism, okay? Because they won't say it explicitly because that's bad. I'm telling you 100% there's people who, even though Ethan has been the most critical that you could be of the Israeli state and the circumstances, and is just saying, don't cheer on civilian death, it's still not enough for people because he's Jewish. I'm telling you. A hundred percent. This is absolutely the part of some people's thought process with this. Uh, can you link me? Because I, or I just pulled up on Twitter. I mean, this started when she, I just qu- quietly unfollowed her. Okay, I didn't like the tweets she was making. I thought they were like leaning too much towards pro Hamas, and I just didn't like it. I didn't want to see it. And so I fucking quietly unfollowed her. I didn't make a big deal. I didn't say anything. Yes, it's like, it's the most reasonable thing. Is sometimes you're following another person. Like, it's so crazy that this is like the conversation that we're having because Frogan is freaked out so badly about getting unfollowed. If you put takes out and you're mutuals with other creators, that creator might unfollow you if you say something that they don't like. Like, it's just so obvious, isn't it? You know, it's happened to me. I've had loads of people on following me over the fucking years. And you're just going to go, okay, fair enough. I guess they don't like my takes. And you leave it at that and you move on. The idea that you would go and make a big public stink about getting unfollowed by someone is the most bullshit thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Welcome. Particularly when it's in response to you downplaying terrorism. Anyway, thank you for the sub. Thing. But like, she got to turn it into this whole big thing that turns into a drama that's now being posted all over the internet. Like, I'm sorry, it's a Twitter follow. It's not that serious, okay? Yes! First of all, and True! She said, uh... Oh, here, let me just check my, my Twitter, because I posted a screenshot of it. <coughs> um... She posted like, yo, one of my favorite YouTubers. Oh, let me find it. I didn't post that one. I'll just show the whole context here. Frogan. Um. Oh, God. I'm not. And by the way, people are probably saying horrible things about her, too, which is why I don't want to show this general. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> spray of horrible shit that people are saying. Uh, oh, thank you, AB. Oh, no. Um. Not good. I saw this. That face when one of your favorite content creators unfollows you for being pro-Palestine. Like, first of all, the framing of that is fucked up, okay? Let's not even go there. Second of all, thank you I, for saying I'm your favorite content creator. I mean, that's flattering. <laughs> you know, we appreciate all the, all the audience members. And I, and, no you know, way! I'm flattered by that. But saying, I, you don't even know why I unfollowed you. You don't know, you, you don't have no information. We've never even talked. And so people start somehow, oh, you, here, this is how people figured out that it was me. Once again, I saw that and I wasn't going to say anything. It's like, whatever, fine. You know what I mean? Like, vent, do whatever you want to do. Ugh. Ooh. The so I guess this from her Discord got leaked. She said, Eth- uh, Ethan Klein and followed Frogan. This is from our subreddit, I think. Ethan Prob was like, this damn Arab supports Hamas. That's not funny. That's not funny at all. Like, the whole framing of this is really fucking uh, cruel. Ethan, I'll support the IDF. Refollow me. I don't support the IDF either. It's not funny. Oh, no. He's not impressed. He is not. Oh, no. He's not impressed with that, is he? I mean, yeah, it's kind of. I mean, wait a second. Hang on a minute, right? Listen, listen. Hang on a sec. So Frogan thinks that Ethan supports the IDF because for that joke to work, right, Ethan has to be at least somewhat supportive of the IDF, even though Ethan 
has repeatedly and continuously criticized the Israeli state and the IDF. How, on what grounds would you possibly think that Ethan Klein supports the IDF when all of his talk is against the IDF and critical of it? What possible grounds would there be that you would think that Ethan supports the IDF? I wonder what that could be. I wonder what that could possibly be. <laughs> Come on, man. It's so obvious what's going on here. Ethan Klein is Jewish. He probably supports the IDF. It's fucking lefty anti-Semitism is what it is. Simple. So that's the framing of it. And then the reason I unfollowed her because apparently she wants to know is because of this tweet specifically and a few others. But this is the one that I, that I was like, I don't want to see this anymore. She said, leftists preach and foam at the mouth. At His the wife was in the IDF because she's an Israeli fucking citizen, you retards. Welcome she didn't have a fucking choice. She had to join the fucking IDF. The mentality of these retards. Are you people Last fucking year, idiots or something? For being anti -Semitic also, on top of that as well, what does that matter? What difference does that make? What difference does that make to anything? Regardless of whether his wife was in the IDF or not, right? Ethan Klein himself has been very critical of the IDF. If you know Ethan's content and his takes on Israel, right, he constantly, endlessly criticizes the IDF. Why, if someone continuously criticizes the IDF, would you presume that they support them? On what basis? Of a revolution happening in America. But as soon as it happens in the Middle East, what they're doing is wrong. Now, this... To me, Retards, I'm interpreting this as, um... So let's just, okay, let's just take some time to address, address that a bit more. So, the idea is that you are going to presume that Ethan supports the IDF because his wife, who's an Israeli citizen, at one point served in the IDF because there's mandatory military service in Israel. Is that, is that really the argument that you're making? Is that really the point that you're, you're going to argue? That's why you would presume that Ethan supports the IDF, despite his regular continuous criticisms of the IDF? You're fucking delusional. You're absolutely fucking full of it. Let me read what I wrote. I don't want to say anything uh, out of pocket, but I don't fucking like that. People are talking about me unfollowing Frogan, so I'll explain why. Since she wants to talk about murdering children and burning families alive in their safe houses is not a revolution, it's a massacre. And if you think that's what revolution is supposed to look like, I'm terrified for your idea of an American res revolution. Okay? She goes, but as soon as it happens in the Middle East, what they're doing is wrong. She's implying that what Hamas is doing is right. I mean, she's basically all but saying it. She's saying as soon as a yes, revolution correct. happens in the Middle East, True. then all of a sudden what they're doing is wrong. She's saying, in her opinion, that what they're doing is right because it's a revolution. And what she's talking about is um, Hamas. It's up to 1,500 people, innocent civilians, not settlers, not combatants, children, babies, uh, elderly. People were viciously and, um, you know, it was just wanton, blatant, full-blown murder, massacre, depravity. Okay? And uh, if you think that that's right, then I don't, I don't fucking want to know you. They're burning families yes. alive in their safe houses. Killing babies. They found 40 dead fucking babies at this kibbutz where, like, tons of people got killed. Now, I don't know if they were beheaded, okay? And some, some people really care about that detail. So, to me, the 40 babies is enough to, to just, you know... I think shooting a fucking baby's body with the AK-47 is, is uh, barbaric enough. I don't really so much care if their heads were cut off or not. And I don't have a hard time believing that they would. Shooting a fucking baby with an AK-47, yeah, I'm sure their, their, their greater humanity prevents them from doing whatever your imagination can run wild with. So, you know, sorry, I don't want to fucking know you. And I think it's disgusting what you said, and I think shame on you. That's what I honestly think, you know. And I'm going to sit here until I'm blue in the fucking face talking about how 
the idea yeah i mean obviously this is like taking up a lot of um oxygen on twitter is this discussion over whether or not that particular aspect of the story is true um and obviously none of us know exactly what's going on i think it's okay to be um cautious cautious about it um but i think even with a level of caution approaching the story at the very least children have been murdered by hamas you know, unless we're going to claim that that's complete fabrication and totally made up, you know, in, its, in totality. But obviously, a lot of people are focusing on, you know, the more extreme aspects of the story and trying to debunk that. Which, you know, fair enough, if you want to split hairs over that, good on you. But like, there's still like atrocities that have occurred. And, you know, obviously, there's a lot of confusion about the true nature of what's happening. People are saying, well, the IDF are the source of some of these stories. And yeah, sure, you can be skeptical about that. But my prediction, as I said earlier this week, is that as more news of these atrocities come through, I think people are really going to start to feel stupid and embarrassed about downplaying certain aspects of it, because I think the totality of what's happened is going to be so fucking extreme, you know? Yeah. Is a genocidal criminal institution that Netanyahu should be tried for war crimes. He should immediately resign. I can tell you that the West Bank uh, settlements are. Yeah, and obviously, you know, previously, previously, Twitter leftoids would just need a twit longer to believe that a full blown rape occurred. But now we're gonna we're gonna doubt and scrutinize and go. Oh well, hmm. I, I don't know about that. Have we got any proof that this rape actually happened? It's honestly wild. The hoops people are jumping through they wouldn't normally jump through. You know, to deny what is not a hundred percent proven, but probably fairly likely. Right? Like it's not it's not unreasonable to think that if someone is going around mass executing civilians, targeting civilians, that they wouldn't also be willing to commit other forms of war crimes as well. Um, but yeah, sure. We don't have like hard proof. All we've got is witness testimony, but for a lot of people, that would be more than enough to fully denounce someone for doing something. And we're not even talking about an individual here. We're talking about like a terrorist group. It's crazy. Basically an act of war. And I don't really believe even that settlers are civilians in the same way that the people who were murdered are. I can tell you that what Israel's doing in Gaza is, is... is as evil as it can be, as evil as evil can be, just the what they're now doing in response to this, which is blowing up, leveling neighborhoods, cr cutting off water, power, food. Um, I can say that till I'm blue in the fucking face, so I don't want to hear any goddamn person saying that I'm a Zionist, which, by the way, is a dog whistle for anti-Semitism. I'm not a Zionist. The only reason people call me a Zionist is because I'm Jewish, so explain to me how that's not anti-Semitic. Not a Zionist. Never talked about Zionism. True. Never talked about Israel having a God-given right to exist or whatever the fuck Zionist, whatever they think Zionism is or whatever it means. So. I mean, yes, this is the fucking secret lefty cheat code to anti-Semitism is you just talk about Zionism and Zionists, right? And maybe you do start off just criticizing the Israeli state using that terminology. But over time, I mean, I've seen it myself. I've seen the levels at which people go to using this like Zionist excuse. It's so successful, the left, you know, taking this term and using it in this way that the far right have started doing it. Go and look at far right posts at the moment. The amount they talk about fucking Zionists, particularly if a Jewish person is like in any way you know, defending, defending any sort of Israeli aspect of this. Um, you know, you could, I could show, you know, we should do this maybe as a game or something, but like you could look at posts, you could put the far right and the far left next to each other on this issue, remove the context of who it is, and you would not be able to tell them apart. It would literally, it would be literally impossible to tell which one is the far right and which one is the far left. They are identical in terms of content at the moment. It's mental. I'm sorry. You know what I mean? If you can't acknowledge the the horrors that are befalling both sides, then whatever peace you're fighting for is a is a joke. You know?
if you're gonna be if you're just gonna sit there callously and dismiss 1500 people being murdered the way that they were so gruesome so fucked up so undiscriminate if you're willing to gloss that over, then how the fuck are you ever going to find peace with Israelis? How? It will never happen. In fact, the only way this conflict ends, if you're unwilling to see the humanity of murdered civilians just because they happen to be Israeli, is probably with the genocide of all fucking Israelis. Because how, how else does this end for you? Because apparently revolution is good when it's killing civilians on a massive Un, un, unmitigated scale. Well, if you follow the logic through of what these people are saying, so they say they've got a problem with settlers, right? Specifically settlers. But then they celebrate and cheer the death of civilians that are not like, you know, settlers in the West Bank. They're from a different part of Israel or they're in a different, you know, even people that are not, not, um, like they've come from abroad. Maybe they're Israeli citizens in some fashion, but they've come from abroad to like a music festival, you know? And it soon becomes apparent that they're not just talking about a specific... Because he's trying to differentiate settlers out from other Israelis. But these people don't do that. They just think any, any person that is, is an Israeli citizen, no matter what their background, no matter where they live, no matter what they're doing, they are a justified target. They are a fair target. And that's that. You know, any anyone with an Israeli passport, anyone with an Israeli passport, because there was even that German woman. That's another aspect of this, this debate over whether or not she's dead. And there were reports that she was dead. But then the mother said that she's got reports through that she's in hospital and maybe she's alive. And that's now been twisted to no, she's alive, actually. And it's all in regard to this woman in the back of a pickup truck with legs twisted, contorted out of position, getting spat on by people. Um, you know, oh yeah, she got taken to the hospital. You know, obviously there's a lot of uncertainty and unknown aspects of this. Um, but there was a person who uh, I believe came in from Germany, but because she holds an Israeli passport, she was considered a justified target as well. <laughs> so, you know, what conclusion are you supposed to come to? Then these pe these bloodthirsty freaks would be happy for all of them to be wiped out. They they're saying that they're justified targets. Crazy. Going house to house, murdering families, parents with their kids right in front of them. So, so these people who are like like leftist peace, they want peace, they want to free Palestine. You're if you are so fucking close minded that you can imagine that the suffering of an Israeli person is is valid, then you're lost. And the same way, and the same goes for Israelis. And again, I say this to them blue in the fucking face. If Israelis can't imagine why, you know, terrorists come out of, Palestinians uh, are becoming t terrorists. If you don't understand why, you know, some, why Hamas, or why some Palestinians uh, want to do this kinds of shit, then you're also part of the problem. You know, people don't want to imagine. They don't want to, they don't care. It's like, Israelis, we don't care about dead Palestinian babies. We just bomb it because, you know what? It's a retaliation. So we're just going to bomb fucking Gaza. And, and on the other hand, you know, these woke leftist fucking, I don't know what you call this uh, branch of leftism is, uh, but. So would it be okay to go and kill the Russian civilian setters in the occupied areas? It's okay. We can murder their children and decapitate them. What are you talking about? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> what are you on about? Where, where are you possibly getting that from? From my take? What the fuck? Man? Um, no, you shouldn't do that. Correct. Yes, I don't, I'm against that. Yes. Like, why would you think I'd be for that? <laughs> but they don't care about um, 1,500 civilians being mass murdered, raped. Yes, raped. Oh, you added me. Oh, right. Okay, I get it now. I thought you were asking me. I was like, no, of course not. You're talking about lefties. You're saying would lefties, would lefties think that's justified, right? I think I'm understanding. Let's not even pretend. I think he added me, but he's just trying to ask a broad question. Okay, I get it now. Sorry. I didn't understand because you added me. I'm an idiot. And that didn't happen, you scumbags. 
Okay, and maybe, and so maybe, and then we don't know. 40 babies were definitely killed. Maybe only one was beheaded. I don't know if there was more than that. So maybe it's not as bad as we think. Is that right, Frogan? Scumbag. I'm sorry. Scumbag. What are you doing for peace, exactly? <laughs> Except coming out here and virtue signaling how fucking left you are. How oh woke God. you are. How much you care for peace or the Palestinian people more than anyone else. Like, let's be real about what the world is for a fucking second. And imagine, like, what is... Like, you, you support Hamas. What did Hamas do for the peace process? These are your revolutionaries, right? What did Hamas do for the peace process by doing what they did? They... Further entrenched Netanyahu and his insane, radical, right-wing, murderous, genocidal uh, cabinet. So now he's got more support in Israel, where before, Israelis were, they were so over him. People are turning on him. But now, now it's a wartime, so they got to back him up. The Israeli general populace, many of whom, by the way, some of y'all don't want to believe... A lot of them, especially who were killed at this fucking peace party, massacred there, are pro-peace, anti-Israel government, pro-Palestine. So a lot of these people are now being like, listen, we got to defend ourselves. I'm pretty sure there's unity government right now, but isn't that only because of what's happened? Like, obviously, it's very standard that in wartime, whoever the leader is at a given time is, is you know, circled around and, and backed up. Because if it comes to not liking a politician because they're getting shitty policies versus getting fucking destroyed in a terrorist attack, you're probably going to not want to get destroyed in a terrorist attack. Because yeah, they're just human beings, right? And their their, re their reaction is human. Unity it's government, human. war cabinet. Okay. Not saying it's right or wrong, but like, let's fucking be real about the world we're living in. Scumbag. Sorry, you can't just go on Twitter and type this shit. There's consequences. Oh Fuck you. All I did was unfollow you on Twitter. You want to make a big fucking deal about it? Fuck you. <laughs> He's popping off. Jesus. Shove it up your ass, you fucking. You know what I mean? Like, how dare you even say this? As soon as it happens in the Middle East, what they're doing is wrong. Okay, so Hamas is right. Let's go, Hamas. What else has happened? International community, who was uh, widely supportive of Palestine, is now everyone's like, yo, Israel's got a right to defend itself. Every single fucking issue that was working in Palestinians' favor has now been completely reversed by Hamas. So how the fuck are these revolutionaries exactly helping you? And how is what they're doing the right way, Frogan? I'd actually like you to explain that for me, please, if you could. You know. Sorry. <laughs> There's got to be a reckoning with this level of callous disregard for the death and suffering of, of, of civilians. And everybody wants to look and say, look at all the Palestinians that are dying. I mean, who gives a fuck about the Israelis? And the Israelis are saying the same thing. Look at all the, look at all the, uh, all the civilians that died. You know, we have to defend ourselves. The fuck, we got to level Gaza. You know, y'all really want to talk about fucking peace while dehumanizing each other to the point where you don't even care if their kids die? Like, Israelis don't care about dead Palestinians. And Palestinian, well, I'm just speaking generally here, you know. These, they don't care about the, uh, I'm going to say a lot. They don't care about the, the dead Israeli kids. So what's progressive about your take exactly? I'd that like to is... fucking know how you're just not a straight up authoritarian, violent. Oh, you Jesus know, Christ. Freak. I don't know. I don't understand. It's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. And it shouldn't be tolerated. Shame on you. And that's why the fuck I unfollowed you. Scumbag. Thanks for bringing it up, by the way. I wasn't even going to talk about it.
Did I make myself clear? <laughs> yes, yes, you did, Ethan. <laughs> he's he's wording his statement very carefully, isn't he? He obviously doesn't want to get backlash or going too hard, but he's still he's still going pretty hard. He's still going pretty hard. I mean, it's it's hard because it's like, yeah, I think the way he's talking is very like he's saying a lot of things that I think a lot of us would just agree with. This is just, you know, I think especially people in my chat, this insanity is 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 just overwhelming over the past few days. And I think we all have looked at it and just been like, yeah, this is nuts. Like, what the fuck's happened? Um, he's just on the money. He's correct. He's observing things right, rightly. And the thing about it as well is unless you want to, you know, how can you possibly argue against this from the other side when he is making, in some cases even more um, like extreme criticisms of the Israeli government than other people that are calling out what people like Frogan are doing. He's taken it a step further and, you know, is really hammering uh, the, the kind of Israeli side of this too. Like there's, there's nothing, unless the only reason you could possibly um, disagree with this from like the pro Hamas side or whatever, right? Is if you're anti-Semitic. that's it. That's literally it. That's literally it. There's no other reason that they're possi you could possibly bring to the table that you would say that Ethan is like on the side of Israel in this, you know? Some of the studio friends of Frogan. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, okay. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we'll look at we'll look at we're going to capture both segments. Don't you worry. We're going to watch we're going to watch the lot. We've got plenty of time. And if you think an L take is Hamas are are not freedom fighting liberating forces, if you think it's an L take to say that Hamas shouldn't slaughter civilians, then guess what? You're also a fucking freak. And you don't need to watch this show. You don't need to be here. You know what I mean? Like, I love everyone that watches this show, and I know the vast majority of the people probably agree with me. Or even if they don't, right, they, they can at least see my... They understand my, my upset, why I'm upset, right? But if you want to go and chat and type L take and all this dumb shit, like, you don't have to be here. You, 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 if you're pro-Hamas, go... You know what I mean? Go join one of the fucking rallies in Miami or New York where they're saying gas the Jews oh. and holding up swastikas. Okay. Go go join them because guess what? They're the ones rooting for Hamas right now. You go be with them because this is not one of those places. And I don't know how much more I can fucking say that I support Palestine and Palestinian people in the most extreme Goddamn way possible. How much more can I say it? But y'all, uh, you all don't want to acknowledge Israel's suffering. And you don't want to acknowledge why Israel is now bombing Gaza, which is monstrous, genocidal, fucked up. They shouldn't be doing it at all. If it was up to me, if I was genuinely, I wouldn't bomb them at all. For me, it would be a time to reflect, to think... And to think about how can we address this in a way that doesn't prolong the fucking further slaughter of civilians. Okay? I don't know what more I can say. See, the thing is, is like, I know there's a lot of war-hungry people out there that just want, um, I mean, some people literally want Gaza to be <clears throat> crushed into a fucking car park. I saw an Indian sharing a meme about it. But can you really destroy Hamas? Like, does it work like that? Like, even if you were to root out Hamas as it exists, would you not create devastation that would just lead to more terrorism in the future? I just I just don't know if, like, this action is even going to, like, end up achieving the goals that Israel have got on all of this. You know, but, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not beyond genocide of the Palestinians. You know, I'm not a geopolitical, I'm not a geopolitical expert at all. I'm a retard, okay? But it just seems like, this current round of, of, of action by Israel is, is not even necessarily going to achieve long-term what they want.
so it's not even t a, a hor horrific what's happening. It's also maybe not even going to be effective long term. But anyway, I'm told Israel has got its right to defend itself. So leveling Gaza is apparently OK. But if you don't have the imagination to understand that there's grievances on both sides to the point of having the empathy to understand, then there will never be peace. Ever. People say, what's your plan for peace? I, how can we even talk about a plan when people don't care about uh, the, the opposing side's children dying? What do, why, are we even, why are we even entertaining the idea of peace when Hamas are freedom fighters? And same goes for the Israeli, the IDF, who's just bombing fucking Gaza and all this. Well, yeah, because th th this, this is the problem, isn't it? That's another, you know, so that's ineffective. But then if they start to, like, step back on their policies, you send the message that terrorism is successful. And so they'll think to do that again if they've got other goals that they want to achieve. There's, there is, it's just all of this is lose-lose. There's nothing here. There's no positives here. It's all just horrendous. You know, it's one of those situations where there's just no good answers or good solutions to any of this. Um, and yeah, you know, it is obviously troubling that people do have such a bloodthirsty approach to the response when the people that are going to suffer most are going to be civilians, are going to be Palestinian children and stuff like that, you know? Psycho, you know, ravenous, genocidal monsters <laughs> that are pro-Israel to the point of being like, let's just level Gaza so everyone's living in tents. Like, I'm fucking sorry. You know, and I'm tired of people acting like a 75-year-old land dispute with like thousands of years isn't fucking complicated to the point of understanding that there's a perspective from both sides. It's pathetic. It's shameful. And if you care about peace, that will never amount to any real change in fact you're part of the problem because you're never going to reach israelis ever damn he's kind of spitting right now i don't know how much more i can tell you fucking monsters how much i hate the israeli government Without you calling me a Zionist, by the way. And if you see a person calling me a Zionist, just know that they hate Jews. And there's no other fucking True. way to say that. Because I am not a Zionist. I've never talked about Zionism. And the only goddamn reason to call me a Zionist is because I'm Jewish. And because they think Jews are fucking evil. That so let's, not, let's take the nuance out of that line of attack. I mean, that is just 100% correct and true because he has given, like, what more criticism could Ethan say of the Israeli state and his disagreement with their actions? It's literally completely in opposition to, to it all. There's, he's absolutely, it's like, he's the opposite of a fucking Zionist. But some people still find a way to call him that, don't they? I think there's another segment after this bit, which we'll watch. So that's why I'm followed you, Frogan. It's like 10 minutes or so. 15 Shame minutes. on you. Hope you have to fucking think, rationalize what you said. She liked it so much she retweeted it. She doesn't care about peace. She just wants Twitter likes. Let's be real. You know what I mean? She just wants to know that the other lefties, they just fucking care so much. But they don't. Because they're not, they're doing the opposite of helping. Hurry up and get to Ant Legion. Okay, I don't Some of the shit I've seen, it's just fucking dark. We'll get man. there, don't worry. And that's all I have to say about that. You know what? I don't know. She probably does care about Palestine. You know what I mean? She does. But, the, but, but um, she does. She does. Okay? But it, you, it takes more than that to, if you actually want peace. It takes more than that. You have to care about all people. All civilians, kids, you have to care about all of them. They all have a right to live. Israelis, they were born there. They don't have a fucking choice. The borders are closed on each side. They can't leave. So they're crying. They're only crying. Okay, I think I think he meant Palestinians. I don't think he meant. I don't think he meant Israel. Oh no! 
Freudian slip from Ethan there. Jesus. Is being born there, right? Same as the Palestinians that are born in fucking oh, Gaza. Oh, no, didn't mean Israelis. I thought he was talking about Gaza. Okay. And so their sentence is death for being born somewhere? I, well, I'm guessing what he means is that if you were born in Israel, there isn't like another country that you can go to. There are obviously settlers that are like American Jews that go to Israel. You know, that's a big part of the problem over there. But there are people that were literally born there that don't have anywhere else to go. A bit like, you know, a white person in America or something like that. Shut up, scumbag. I don't give a fuck about Israel or Palestine. That's fine. You don't have to. That's no problem. I'm more interested in the drama, but Ethan's just <laughs> gone into a, a based rant. So I'm just kind of listening. That's all I have to fucking say. He's taken no prisoners. A bit That's like it. a bit like the Israelis in Gaza. Okay, stop it now. Stop. If you want to message me and apologize, we can talk about it. You know, I'm not, I'm not even here to say like, listen, I want, I want, I want progress too. So if you want to message me and talk about it, that's fine. You know, maybe we can work it out. Maybe we can work out the, the misunderstandings. Maybe you can apologize and tell me and maybe even tell your followers that Hamas are not revolutionary freedom fighters. They are genocidal war criminals. Monsters. I care about Palestinian kids. Do you care about Israeli kids dying? I don't know. I don't know if you do, because you said Hamas did the right thing. Do you see Well, I think I saw she put out a tweet that was like, oh, of course I denounce it all. That was clear from what I said. And, you know, it's this game that's being played where people want to act like, well, I, I said that already. And some people have, to be fair. I've seen instances where people have been explicitly critical of what Hamas did and also want to talk about the other issues in the region. And they get shouted down as like downplay, you know, but that's not. But that, I mean, Frogan suggested it was like a good thing, like what had happened. You know, there's no two ways of reading that. There was no denouncement. There was no criticism of the deaths or anything like that. And again, these people in my mind are staying because how can I be sure that you're not just saying that because you've got the backlash? Do you truly believe what you're saying? How you say, I just, why, why bother trusting these people? It's pointless on this issue. So that was the, that was only the beginning. I don't know what, what led to this, but apparently Ethan went in a second time and went in for the, much like an Israeli jet. Ethan's job wasn't done yet, so he had a second, uh, a second sortie. Let's have a look at this. <laughs> Let's see. She says, Frogan says, I did not say murdering children and burning families alive is a revolution. Well, you did say that. I mean, what, oh. what just fucking, just stand behind what you're saying. Oh, he's going over the other tweet. Got it. preach and foam at the mouth at the thought of a revolution happening in America. But as soon as it happens in the Middle East, all of a sudden what they're doing is wrong. I mean, you're saying that it's right. But okay, let me read her whole thing. Um, of course, you didn't, you didn't say that explicitly, but like, let's be real. Is a tactic Israel specialized in for seven years. So here comes the thing about like, I refuse to acknowledge Israelis suffering because um, I, could, I, my, I can only see past uh, I only care about people, only care about Palestinians suffering. Okay, I right. Care, I need to... <laughs> uh, because... Uh, okay. I think uh, I just want to read the actual text of what she said. Because he's not... <laughs> he's not reading it, is he? I did not say murdering children and burning families alive is revolution. It is a tactic Israel has specialized in for over 70 years. But I haven't seen you post about their murders. Ethan Klein... Uh, you know, I'm not even an Ethan Klein viewer. I only watch him when he's in some drama that I'm interested in talking about, right? But my understanding is Ethan is a repeated regular critic of the Israeli state and the Israeli government and has constantly discussed and talked about and pushed forward the plight of Palestinians. He's endlessly critical of it. Every time it comes up, he's critical of Israel. So apparently for, this is Frogan's favorite content creator, but they seemingly have got no idea about any of their positions or what they believe.
I haven't seen you post about their murders. Your first post here in the past week is to call me out for supporting Palestinians fighting back. What is revolution to you if not overthrowing the prison guards that keep two million people from leaving, shilling the homes wantonly, killing civilians, mostly children, for the past 70 years, the approval of the international community? The American Revolution was fought over for less than the unrelenting massacre of their people. So she's just doing more of the same. She's not, I mean, well, maybe there's an, I think she said something else about how it should be implied that she was criticizing all death. It's, it's just cope. It's just cope from Frogan. Frogan is upset because Ethan Klein has followed her and she's trying to like justify what she said. This is why you cannot trust people like this because under pressure, they might say, oh, well, all killing's bad. But why was that not explicit in the first place? Yeah, like she's trying to have it both ways. When she's talking about someone, this might work if you're talking about, you know, Ben Shapiro or something like that. I don't know. Maybe maybe Ben Shapiro, you might might get a couple of points in because he is just insane pro-Israel no matter what, right? But Ethan Klein is not. Ethan Klein is not at all. So again, it's like desperately trying to defend yourself when the person you're talking about is exceptionally critical of Israel. Um. I can I my I can only see past uh I only care about people only care about Palestinians suffering. I don't care about anything that has to do with Israel. And I, once again, the the path to peace is paved here by the enlightened Frogan. But I haven't seen your post about their murders. Ah, again, it's like how much more can I say it? Yes, exactly. You lit you you went on your fucking So now now I don't care about Palestinians. Even though I was just your favorite creator. Ethan was probably like, damn, Arabs support Hamas. Oh, fuck that, dude. How dare you talk about me like this? You're mad I unfollowed you because I'm one of your favorite? You says, Ethan, I'll support you if you follow the he idea. He's mad. Jesus. Y'all really? <clears throat> He's popping off. <clears throat> okay, so she says, I haven't, I haven't seen you talking about uh, Palestinian murders. Well... I guess you haven't seen it, but you haven't looked real fucking hard then. Or you haven't even tried, because I have been saying it for a long ass time. And A.B., if you can do me a favor and link the statement I put out about when um, uh, the last time there was a huge confrontation when the IDF blew up a like residential building and killed a bunch of journalists. Do you know, it is, it is kind of fucked that Ethan Klein feels that he has to always preface everything by like this heavy criticism of Palestine, you know? And it's like, maybe some of that is just because he doesn't want to be seen to be supporting Israel when he's talking about a terrorist attack against Israel. But also some of that is probably because he's Jewish. Some of that is probably because he's Jewish and people will assume certain things about him because he's Jewish, exactly like Frogan has. People... Uh, what I said about that, and I'll read it again for you, Frogan, because, again, you haven't seen me talking about it. Doesn't mean that I haven't, actually. But what I am interpreting is that you don't care about Israeli suffering. You just want to talk about Palestinian suffering. Your first post here in the past week is to call... call, call what? Your first post here in the past week is to call me out for f supporting Palestinians fighting back. Again, she's supporting Hamas. Hamas murdered. She's actually, she's actually proving my point even more explicitly. That's crazy. Palestinians fighting back. First of all, Thank what you. a disservice you're doing to Palestinians. Palestinians are not fucking Hamas. I would venture to guess the vast majority of them are peace loving people that just want to live in safety and don't want to live in fear. But no, you're saying Palestinians are fighting back. Hamas. Militant extremist terrorist organizations on the part of ISIS is just Palestinians fighting back. Okay. What is revolution to you if not overthrowing the prison guards that keep two million people from leaving? What prison guards were killed? The fucking... The families? Were the kids that were killed prison guards? Are you sure about this statement, Frogan? Which prison guards were... Did they murder... The kids, the elderly, the family that was burned. In fact, it wasn't the problem that there weren't these prison guards. Like, apparently Hamas were able to just move into Israel without any meaningful prevention. Like, that was part of the problem, I believe. There weren't many people. There weren't, the IDF apparently were not around to stop this from happening. Alive, the women that were raped, 
The murdered that were shot point blank with the AK-47, are those the prison guards that you're talking about? That's the revolution. Okay, well, let me know, you know, let me know what you're planning for the revolution here, because I do not want to fucking, I want to make sure that I'm standing against that. Because if, if that's what, you know, if that's what overthrowing the prison guards looks like to you, then I'd really hate to think what you're going to do to the capitalist fucking pigs in America when it's time to reclaim what's yours. She goes, that keeps two million people from leaving, shelling their homes, wanton, only killing civilians, mostly children, for the past 70 years to the approval of the international community. The American Revolution was fought over, over for less than the unrelenting massacre of their people. So, again, she has not a single fucking atom of empathy. Not a single shred for the mass murder of children. She doesn't even want to hear it. In fact, her selective outrage is, stu is stunning. She says, I've only ever heard you talk about me supporting Palestine. Are you fucking dumb? Like, how <laughs> dare you even say that? You True. scumbag. Did you think about this before you wrote it? Shame on you. How dare you defend what you said? And to even come for me as if I don't support Palestinians. Sorry. This statement just proved my point. This is the last time I ever spoke on Israel. I posted on Twitter. I posted on Instagram. I read it on the show. The Israel government is making me sick. Even if Hamas is operating out of civilian buildings, it doesn't justify the total destruction of that building. It's inhumane. Netanyahu is a piece of shit warmonger and needs to go. As a dual citizen, I love Israel and the Israeli people. They deserve a government that actually believes in peace and not force and violence. The ultra-right Jewish settlers are among the greatest provocateurs in the world. They're shameless, hateful, fueled by religious zeal, and enabled by the Israeli government. I wish the settling and repossession of Palestinian land would stop. I wish the bombing in Gaza would stop. Gazans deserve watch to live in a well. life of free of fear. And for all the crimes Hamas has committed, we have always... And for all the crimes Hamas has oh, committed, right, we must always remember that they are not Palestine, which somehow you don't seem to understand either. The Israeli government holds all of the power, and it's on them to stop the violence and show a true willingness to peace. That's the last time I talked about fucking Israel. So, do you want to keep say, uh, saying this shit about me, or do you want to apologize? Because it sounds to me like you want to double down. Actually, you definitely did double down. You said, you said Hamas was murdering their prison guards. Fucking kids, you fucking psycho. Oh, Jesus Christ. They're murdering children with a fucking machine gun, dude. Oh, Jesus. That's the prison guard you're talking about? Wait, and then you you can't possibly understand why Israelis, why Israelis who are dead wrong are being like, oh, we need to retaliate. They're dead wrong. Welcome. But you don't Thank understand you for the why. Sub. They Chuck, would Chuck, think Chuck, that. Chuck. Again, because I have to emphasize, because people don't fucking listen to what I say. I mean, I said it so many times, and yet she still acts like I haven't said it. It's astonishing, frankly. It's astonishing. This is actually, this actually statement has made her original one even worse. She's basically just coming out and saying it. Yeah. Hamas are freedom fighters. Taking out their prison guards. Well, we're going we're to watch, um, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to watch the entire thing, but we'll watch some of Frogan's response to this. And I watched you know, trying to find the exact moment to, to start their coverage. I watched like a couple of minutes and it's very clear that they do not think particularly hard about these issues. Like they sound stupid. They, li you know, they, they literally sound stupid. I don't know how else to put it, right? The way they talk, they sound like they don't put much thought into anything. And yeah, and that's nothing to do with their, whatever religion is or background or being a woman, it's just they're an idiot. They're an idiot that doesn't think things through. They've got their ideology and they just promote that ideology no matter what, regardless of what the truth or the facts are or a given matter. Oh yeah, and by the way, Palestinians. She's calling Hamas just Palestinians. How's that help them? Really? That's even more psychotic than uh, your...
How disappointing. All this going on and really the main focus is some clout and influence. What reduction of current events. Oh, sorry. Was my hours of coverage covering the atrocities and what was going on the other day not enough? I'm a fucking drama guy, mainly, okay? I've covered the political angle of this plenty, okay? Let me have my fun covering the drama and fuck off if you don't like it. Your first take. The American Revolution was fought over for less than the unrelenting massacre of their people. Okay. And so, what, what, uh, I don't recall a time okay. when not the American it, Revolution okay, where <laughs> they were like just killing babies. And wanting Jeremy, mass yeah, murder. Right, yeah. But if there was, guess what? I wouldn't, I don't support that either, actually. But that's, that's, that's just the, the dynamic we live in now is something happens. It used to be that historically you would just watch the news, take the news in. And leave it at that. You'd watch the six o'clock news, talk about it with your friends and stuff like that, and that'd be that, right? But now there is this entire industry of commentary and talking heads and YouTubers and stuff like that. It's a big machine. So obviously people respond to it and then people respond to that and so on and so on and so on. You know, even other aspects of the political spectrum have got this. Like, for example, on the right wing, you've got like the pro Israel righties, the neocon righties, and people like that. And then you've got like the far right who are obviously pro-Palestine, probably because it's convenient to the, the anti-Semitic ideology to be so, I'd imagine. You know, I can't imagine the average far writer has got much love for a Palestinian, <laughs> really. Seems like more of a, a sort of tactical decision than an actual morally, ethically grounded decision. Um, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, there's obviously that that's happening there too. So Ben Shapiro is obviously an extreme pro-Israel advocate and he's getting a lot of pushback from like the far right, criticizing him for his whatever take, his takes are. Do you live in America, Frogan? Because I hate to say it, but if the citizens are of a country are guilty for the crimes of their government, which you seem to think that all Israelis are, people that were born in Israel did not choose to be in Israel. They don't choose to join the IDF. It's mandatory conscription, okay? Yes. So true. if you think that every Israeli man, woman, and child, and baby is fair game to be murdered by Palestinians, you mean Hamas, because that's a fucking psychotic way to, to um, frame Palestinians. That seems more, that seems kind of fucked up. Like, I would never say anything that, that, that's crazy. No, that's a total cop out. The citizens of bureaucracy are certainly are somewhat responsible. That's a complete cop out because you're, you're giving credence to the idea that them getting slaughtered is in any way acceptable. What? And that's for both sides as well. You could say that about the Israelis. You could say it about the Palestinians as well. Like, no, the average citizen does not deserve to be fucking wiped out in a terrorist attack or an airstrike because the government is fucking retarded. Easy. I would never say that, that Hamas and Palestinians are like just interchangeable. That's how you're using it here. I think it's very important to make that distinction. I mean, the Palestinians, they are just people that want to live in peace. Okay. But you actually can't make that distinction, which I find very interesting. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not pro massacre, massacring families and all that either, actually. And the American Civil War, or any Civil War, actually, or, or a, a revolution, I mean. But yeah, do you, do, does she live in America? She does, right? Oh, yeah. She's yeah, so from our hometown. <laughs> oh my God, I forgot there were other people there. They're just completely silent. As he's popping off, I think apparently someone was saying that these people are friends with her or something. <laughs> bit awkward. Bit fucking awkward, isn't it? Normally they're chipping in and saying their piece and adding something to it, but even it's just popping off. They don't agree with him. How can you not agree with him? If uh, you know, How could you possibly side with Frogan in this? What Frogan said was totally out of line through any reasonable interpretation. So since you live in America, Frogan, by your own logic, you would for sure be uh, accountable for your government's crimes, right? Because that's how what you're holding all Israelis to. And so by that logic, you have a lot to answer for. 
and I use this analogy, and I think it's a good analogy, if Iraq, who America just fucking murdered like a million Iraqis, just horrific war crimes, disgusting, fucking nasty, unforgivable war crimes that America did in Iraq. Well, since you were born here, Frogan, if an Iraqi terrorist cell comes to a exact revenge for what our government did in Iraq, then I hope you don't complain when they come to kill your family. Because it's the same logic that you're using to justify Hamas killing Israeli civilians. But you wouldn't do that because you understand that it's not that fucking simple. No matter how reductive you want to be. <laughs> how are you even a serious person? Holy fuck. There's still more. There's still Dude, more. Caught in 4K. What is a revolution to you if not overthrowing the prison guards that keep 2 million people from living? Yo! Again, she goes, mostly children. So I understand you care about Palestinian children, but you don't care about Israeli children that are murdered. And that's why there will never, ever be peace, Frogan. Because you don't give a fuck about Israeli kids being murdered. I did not say murdering children, burning families alive is a revolution. All I said is, revolution is uh, when you do that to the people keeping you... Uh, uh, what? You just said it! There's a part two to her tweet. Okay, there's a part two. No, this is, this is, you know, desperately trying to downplay what was said because you're in some sort of trouble. In this case, the trouble being Ethan, I'm following you. The way that a tweet reads, you have to be ex you have to be generous to the point of insanity to claim that that tweet is anything other than celebrating or, or, or supporting the acts that occurred. Now, you know, it could be like there are definitely people out there who jumped the gun and has, have since walked their statements back. Still suspicious, but like a bit more reasonable, perhaps. But the problem here is she's walked it back whilst under pressure. She's not reflecting on it. Like, okay, I can imagine a world, not for Frogan, okay? Frogan is stained for life, okay? For me, at least. But there are definitely people out there who probably just heard what happened. You know, Palestinians are rising up in Israel or something simplistic from some biased source or something. And they put a tweet out and were like, oh, this is just them rising up against... But then it turned out it was actually a terrorist attack and civilians have been killed and targeted, not... Um, military targets, etc., and you feel very stupid and very foolish, and you kind of go, "Okay, I fucked up here." And I've seen a couple of examples of that, but it feels like most people were cheering it on until the pressure mounted to such a high degree that now they're walking it back. Like that statement from the university, one of those idiots saying, "Oh, I didn't actually read the statement," and they're supposed to be a lawyer or training to be a lawyer, or you know, studying to be a lawyer or something like that. It's totally fucking insane. It doesn't make any sense. You know, a lot of these walkbacks. I think are not necessarily true indications of their beliefs. It's just they don't want the heat of their hot takes. Let's read it. Couldn't make this much worse. Is it under or? Refresh. You posted it a bit later. <clears throat> Dude, I didn't say that it's okay to kill families and children. I'm just saying this is a revolution and Hamas are our freedom fighters. What do you expect them to do? Not kill kids and rape women and burn families alive? That's just how we do it. She goes, she continues, it goes without saying murder and civilians is horrible. It doesn't go without saying, actually. It doesn't. It's at the heart of my criticism against Israel. Yeah, I understand. See, this is the cop out they do. Oh, it goes without saying. Well, why is it that when you said it, it was immediately to support this so-called revolution and act like it was a good thing? There's nothing in that statement that suggests they think that murdering civilians is bad. I understand that. It's at the heart of my criticism against Israel, too. It's disingenuous to assume it wouldn't apply to the murder of Israeli citizens, too. It's not doesn't go without being said, actually. Not at all. Not at all. I mean, you, you basically just walked up to justifying it here. How are you real? Here's why peace will never happen. What's happening? Okay, I, you're trying to be clever with this. 
Ethan Klein is someone who has repeatedly and constantly spoke about this and criticized Israel. These little fucking retarded memes that you're doing fall totally flat when you realize that Ethan, <laughs> look at that fucking freeze frame. <laughs> Ethan is a massive critic of Israel and has been for a long time. You might be able to make these arguments against fucking Ben Shapiro, but not Ethan Klein. There's no way. Because Frogan does not fucking care about when Israeli kids die. Only when Palestinian kids die. She doesn't have ima enough imagination to imagine both sides having grievances. Back in the day, they had rules of war. They still do. There still are rules of war that exist. There still are rules of war that exist. But for some reason, now lefties are arguing against that exact concept by arguing that settlers are legitimate targets, which is not true at all. It's bullshit. Like, it's mad. if you'd have told me 20 years ago, in the midst of criticism of the move to go to an invade Iraq, in 20 years' time, lefties would be arguing against the Geneva Convention, I'd have said you were fucking insane. But no, here we are. Well, welcome to 2023, I guess. Feeling pain and loss and fear and existential threat. She, you know what I mean? The fuck? Give me a break. Ethan has never got this heated about genocide in Palestine. Their children have been murdered for decades and made Twitter and made one Twitter post in 2020. What the fuck have you done for it? You, mo you pathetic house dwelling <laughs> signal, <laughs> virtue signaling nobody. What are you doing about it except bitching on Twitter and downplaying wanton True. violence? What do you need me to do? What would become acceptable for you? What I'm seeing is my, quote, political allies on the left excusing and cheering on Hamas. Sorry for thinking that's fucked up. Especially, I hate to break it to you, as a Jew who's a dual citizen of Israel and my wife is Israeli. Sorry to fucking surprise you with that fact. That I don't want everybody in Israel to die, which is Hamas's explicit goal. Freedom fighters? Execution squad? I mean, listen, I know people have been kind of touching on this in chat. Jordan Peterson was right, though, wasn't he? Remember, Jordan, remember when Ethan Klein took down his Jordan Peterson interview and Jordan Peterson said, these people are going to eat you alive eventually. <laughs> oh, dear. It's happening. How much more do you need me to talk about how fucked up Israel is for you to get it out of your thick, fucking, dumb, moronic, virtue signaling, plebeian skull? Shame on you, you dumb, monstrous, blood-hungry. Shame on you. That's all I can say. It's absolutely fucking pathetic. Her response made it even worse, man. It's crazy <laughs> that she wrote that. I mean, she really just, uh, why is Ethan so angry? Shut the fuck. Dude, if, you, if you even have to ask that, I don't know what to tell you. I don't have to tell you. I don't. You know, I don't know how much more I can tell you how much I fucking despise the genocidal warmongering war criminals in the Israeli government. Thank you for getting level five. I don't know how much it. more do I can explain that to you. But guess what? I also can believe that Hamas are fucking monsters. The problem is you can't. You can't do that. Hamas are freedom fighters to you. They are part of the revolution. And so that's your fucking problem. That you don't have that imagination. So fuck you, Frogan. How about that?
Jordan Peterson's recent tweets are crazy, man. My the way door's still open if you want to talk. Because I actually want... Because, again, I'm not here to fucking call... You know, I'm just calling it out. You want to talk to me? Apparently you don't. You just want to message me more about how prison guards are being murdered, a.k.a. kids. Dude, you can never take that back. That's on the internet forever. I hope you know that. You literally just called murdered children prison guards. Okay. Got you. I don't mince words when it comes to Israeli government. I got no fucking problem talking about their war crimes. I got no problem. But somehow for you, it's just oh, Hamas is fuck. No, no, no. Hamas, they're, they're fucking murderous terrorists. ISIS free. No, they're free. You can't say it. Why is that? That's my problem. Why can't you say Hamas is terrorist, rapist, child murdering animals? Why can't you say it? That's your problem. Not my uh, okay. problem. Okay. Let's finish. Nice response, dipshit. All right, where were we? <clears throat> We were talking about, uh, we were talking about, I guess maybe let's do a guess the crew member. Let's do it. Or maybe Big Nick, MAGA, We Are the World. Palette right, cleanser. we'll have a look at Frogan's response. Yeah, we spoke a bit about the uh, the Harvard thing earlier. Um, it's tricky because generally I'm against people's like sentiments on the internet being used against them in a professional capacity. But in this particular instance, you've signed a letter from your institution, which you're using to educate yourself to do this job in support of terrorism or downplaying terrorism or like something like, you know, blaming Israel for the for the terrorism, even though the terrorists at least share some of the blame, surely. But no, it's just, and I'm like, well, if you want to be a lawyer, you probably do need to be cautious about what causes you get behind because you're going to be a fucking lawyer. I don't know. The the fucking doxing stuff I've seen on the internet and tracking it is very cringe. Not for that. I think that's very cringe and gay. But as as a person, as an individual, yeah, you probably can't, you know, in any way make it seem like you're supporting a prescribed terrorist organization if you want to be a lawyer. I don't know, man. That seems like a pretty obvious thing to me. If I was studying to be a lawyer, I would probably be very careful about throwing my support behind terrorist organizations in any way. So, you know, and, and the other thing as well, this is the other thing that really annoys me about some of these fucking leftoid freaks that cry out about cancel culture when they're in the fucking firing line is they will utilize this, this cancel culture when it fucking suits them, right? But then when it's on them, all of a sudden cancel culture is terrible. All these freaks come out the woodwork to talk about how fucking bad it is, you know? They'll cheer on as some poor fucking office worker gets fired for posting a choice meme on social media. But then when they're getting in trouble because they're signing statements to support terrorist organizations from the institution of their school, all of a sudden we've got to cry about it because it's them that's in the firing line. Now, fuck off. Get fucked. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you're getting fucking cancelled. You deserve it. Okay. Let's see what Frogan's response to all of this is anyway. Okay. Earlier this morning, I was up. I was up. And I saw, what's it called? I saw like a video of Ethan talking about... Um, it was like from like a, a lib account. It was like Ethan talking about. I swear I haven't watched. I only saw a little bit. Ethan talking about how like people that support Hamas should go. Should go get um, murdered, whatever. So I was like, oh, let me go to Ethan's Twitter account. Because I wanted to see like other shit he said. God, she's so already. She's not only a complete retard. She's also totally dishonest as well. There was a clip circulating on Twitter, which was taken totally out of context, right? What Ethan was saying in his video, in his coverage, I watched it off stream um, the other day because I thought, you know, there'll probably be new stuff to cover and lo and behold, there is. But like he was pointing out that if you are saying that what happened to the Israeli civilians is justified, you would surely have to accept if you were slaughtered by, you know, some enemy of America if they come into your neighborhood. That's the point that he was making. 
but it got clipped completely out of context. And now she's taken that context and presenting it totally fucking dishonestly. Is it possible for these people to be honest about anything for a fucking second in their life? Fuck me. And that's why he unfollowed me. I'm like, ain't no fucking way right now. I was like, either to follow me, what the fuck did I do? And, um, so then dumb on me, I talked about it in uh, a Discord server and dumb on me. I don't know why I thought it would be like, I didn't think it would get to this point, but somebody posted it on Reddit and it went viral that he unfollowed me. And yeah. So I was like, okay. Um, and then I took a little nap earlier. I woke up, I was chilling. And then I get a notification in my tweets um, from Ethan. He said, we're, we're, we're just going to get into it. Um, he said, people are talking about me unfollowing Fro again, so I'll explain why. She wants to talk about it. Murdering children and burning families alive in their safe houses is not a revolution. It's a massacre. And if you think that's what a revolution is supposed to look like, I'm terrified for what your idea of an American revolution. I'm terrified for your, your idea of an American revolution. And he used this tweet where I said, leftists preach and foam at the mouth at the thought of a revolution happening in America, but as soon as it happens in the Middle East, what they're doing is wrong. Um, and then he included... Uh, my my discord logs which it was stupid that i even talked about it in discord um and I, I made a joke okay what discord was this in anyway does anyone know i made a joke i was like ethan Klein didn't follow me why am i sad on because i was sad because i literally i okay chat listen i i, I mean i love h3 i don't hate jewish people at all i i love h3 i love ethan's content you know, I've talked about the content. I've watched it on stream before. Um, so I was, I was sad. I was like, damn. And then, and then I made a joke. I was like, Ethan, I'll support the IDF. Free follow me. And then I made another joke. I was like, Ethan probably was like, damn, this, this damn Arab supports Hamas, which he kind of implied that I support Hamas, which I don't like. How can you trust that this is a statement of a true sentiment? I just don't know how you possibly can, because she's only saying this after an insane amount of pressure when her original takes were explicitly, well, they were in support of this idea of a revolution in the Middle East. And it was said in the context of Hamas Islamist terrorists slaughtering Israeli civilians. Like what... Like, how else are you supposed... You have to be so intellectually generous to the point of, you know, being a mug to get on board with this kind of line of thinking of, of what she was trying to say with what she said. <laughs> yes, she does care more about the unfollow. I mean, that speaks to this whole drama, doesn't it? The fact that she cares more about getting unfollowed by Ethan Klein than any other aspect of this. Like, her absolutely atrocious, retarded statements about all of this. Yeah. Um. So then... I responded. You know what I did? So what I did was I didn't respond right away. I saw the tweet and I said, oh, fuck. I'm going for a drive. I'll show you a whore, bitch. I'll fuck your dad. Anyways. Um. Okay. Anyways. Uh, so. <laughs> anyways. I'm sorry. This is supposed to be serious. Man, I fucking hate Zionists. Hmm. You shouldn't even be saying you love Ethan. They don't see Muslims, Arabs as people. Hmm. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Hmm. What happens to the non-Palestinians in that equation, I wonder? Hmm. Very curious messages in chat that I'm seeing. Very interesting messages. Hmm. Intriguing. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm literally covering head to toe, you fucking idiot clown. That's besides the point. So, I responded to him. 
uh, I said, I did not say murdering children and burning families alive is a revolution. It is a tactic Israel has, used, has specialized in for over 70 years. I haven't seen you post about their murders. Your first post here in the past week is to call me out for supporting Palestinians fighting back. What is revolution to you if not overthrowing prison guards that keep 2 million people from leaving, shelling their homes, wantonly killing civilians, mostly children, for the past 70 years to the, to the approval of international community? The American Revolution was fought over for less than uh, their unrelenting massacre of their people. Like, did Ethan think that the Boston Tea Party was an actual tea party? That's what I want to know. I... How could she possibly still be saying stuff like this when presumably this is what yesterday and information about the atrocities are like pretty widespread at this point. I think there's pretty widespread understanding of like the very minimum, even on a conservative estimate of the atrocities, what has happened. And the conservative estimate is men, women and children, innocent um, civilians have been slaughtered, <laughs> like regardless of whether you want to get on board with the other perspectives that are being shared or discussed it, civilians have been killed in a terrorist attack and it's still focused on this idea of revolution crazy um but i haven't watched what he said i'm a borderline sociopath for what for talking So, and then I followed it up with, uh, it goes without saying murdering civilians is horrible. That's at the heart of my criticisms against Israel. It's disingenuous to assume it wouldn't apply to the murder of Israeli citizens too. Welcome I added to that. Chud Nation. I, there, Thank you for the sub. I forgot to read right now. Um, I don't know if you want to watch what he said. He was very emotional and I think he projected a lot into what you said that you didn't intend. I mean, that's more of a reason to watch it, right? You're talking shit on me. You're talking shit on my name, but I shouldn't react to it because because he was emotional and he shouldn't have said shit. Like, I don't know what you want me to tell you. Well, that that's what's so crazy about about this whole thing is, is I don't even think even at this point she understands what Ethan's position is. Because you know, she clearly hasn't watched his original video about it even, which he has been out for days, like easily could have if you're very actually interested in, uh, in in what his kind of perspective on this was. She kind of just referred to a clip that was taken out of context to refer to like Ethan on Twitter talking about this. I can understand her wanting to respond to what he's saying recently, but I like, think Ethan's position is very clear and he's made it clear multiple times He's anti the Israeli government, anti Israeli state, criticized that. But apparently, she's one of Ethan's biggest fans. I don't know what you want me to. She's just kind of retarded, isn't she? I mean, I don't... can somebody link It's me? like this, this toxic mix of like ideological thinking just just pure raw ideology and basing things off of that and just not being particularly bright like this response so far is just completely lackluster she's clearly been put on the spot and is finding it difficult to think even just to think of what to say that she's falling back on basic like ideological tropes that she's got in the back of her mind particularly like talking about the boston tea party and stuff like that and that's not to say she's not responsible for what she said. Obviously, she's an adult and she's more than capable of having responsibility for what she says. But it's quite clear where any sort of critical thinking might be. She's just replaced it purely with ideology. Thick as piss, yes. He, yeah, I'm not an emotional punching bag. One, that's a good point. Two, yeah, I talked about it in public, but also, like, you are somebody that has um, 40,000 plus viewers and you're oh, talking gosh. about me shitting on my character you don't even know me one what you're 
You're, like, Good. You didn't even say that. I don't care if there's a one viewer Andy that has got a bad take about this. A, bad, a one viewer Andy on the left that's got a bad take. Oh, they should be absolutely intellectually destroyed. I, I am sick of this. Is like, do these people understand, like, more broadly how damaging this is? Not just for like the far left, but for like progressives and more centre left people as well. You know, banging the drum about how bad Donald Trump is. Meanwhile, you're pushing out stuff. You know, Hassan is like the biggest political streamer. You know that has got some crazy takes about this. Obviously, we're all very interested to see how it plays out tonight with Ethan versus Hassan on Leftovers. That's going to be interesting to watch. But, you know, this this stink, this stench of, like, terrorism apologia hangs over the entirety of the progress, progressives now. I'm I'm fairly certain that in the future, you know, more centre-left people will probably have to answer for some of this stuff. It's crazy. And... I wonder, like, like you think about, I, I, this is like literally, in fact, I won't even say it. I won't even say it. My concern is that you've seen this with other stuff in the past where you've got extremes of the party. I mean, the DSA, for example, the DSA has some of the um, chapters of the DSA have come out and, and just expressed vocal support for Palestine without criticizing the actions of Hamas. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying something based on a tweet that I saw. But what I will say is that I know, know for sure the DSA, some, some chapters of the DSA have come out and, uh, you know, supported explicitly what's happened or not, not decried it or something like that. You know, this stuff is not, I don't, I don't think it's stuff that easily goes away. You know, I think this stuff hangs around. The Democratic Socialists of America they're the um they're they're part well I, I don't know how it actually works exactly, but they're part of the Democrats, but they're like they're like a left wing uh, they're a pack or something, aren't they? I, I don't know. They're like a pressure group. They're like a Democrat pressure group that's got ties to the Democrats. They're socialists, so they push for more lefty perspectives, right? That. The point is, they're close, enough, they're close enough to the Democrats that the stench of their shitty perspectives could rub off, you know, on more mainstream politicians that unless you're a total um, retard, you would, as a progressive, want to win so you, they can push your ideas forward. Public and they, in private, and they both say their views broadly agree, then I don't think you've been watching Hassan's stream for the last since Sunday. Because also, has yeah, this, 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 this take, this take... This take of like, uh, oh, I've got less viewers than you, so don't criticize me. Like, you gave an insane take. Then Ethan unfollowed you. You then, you know, stirred further drama by talking about it, leading Ethan to respond. I mean, yeah, of course, at some point he's going to respond if you bring attention to the uh, fact he's unfollowed you for something when that starts to pick up, you know, discussion in these communities. Say their views broadly agree. Then I don't think you've been watching Hassan's stream for the last since Sunday. Because Hassan has said the same shit oh, no. I have said. If not more extreme than what I've said. Oh. So why is it only an issue when I say something like that? Where Hassan has said shit. Worse. What? She's trying to craft this reality where, oh, she's only getting shit because, you know, what? She's a woman or something? I don't know. <laughs> she's struggling. She's certainly struggling, isn't she? But the thing is, is like, I've not seen everything Asana said. But it seems to me like Asana is also wrong about this issue too. And I'm sure it's going to come up when they talk about it later on on uh, Leftovers. Also, it's not that serious. He just unfollowed you on Twitter, right? Clearly, he's got a show with Hassan, so he's going to be a bit more permissive, probably knowing he's going to speak to him about it at some point if he doesn't like his takes. Um, whereas with you, he doesn't really know you, so he unfollowed you because he didn't like what you were saying on Twitter, and that was it. You're the one that caused drama by talking about it and fucking instigating more people to focus on it and talk about it more, leading him to respond. 
Can we watch what he said? Yeah, can you send me the link, please? Crazy. Can one of my mods link me, please? Thank you. We'll watch a bit of this, but I think it's just a bit we uh, just I'm watched. so nervous to watch it. I'm actually really nervous to watch it, chat. <sighs> okay, I have, it, I have it pulled up. Okay. He's so nasty the whole time. Make love, not war. It's bad, don't watch it, as I should be. Okay. Shove it up your ass, you fucking... You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> how dare you even say this? As soon as it oh, happens no. in the Middle East, what they're doing is wrong. Okay, so Hamas is right. Let's go, Hamas. <laughs> Why not okay, start from the beginning? It's just like, you know that tweet where it's like, oh, I like pancakes. Oh, you fucking like pancakes? You hate waffles, you stupid bitch? You stupid bitch? Oh, sorry. Sorry, I know you want to take it all in, don't you? Wait, there's a... What's... What is the timestamp? Then start at 21 minutes? Oh, damn, okay. The problem with this take is what... The whole point of that criticism is someone is making statement A and they're not really in any way talking about statement B because obviously just because you like pancakes doesn't mean you're going to dislike waffles. But the problem with this is that that's not what she was doing, you know? That's not what she was doing. She was specifically referring to the act as an act of revolution and supporting it as if it was a good thing. She was saying, I like pancakes, and Ethan Klein's going, well, you, the fact you like pancakes is disgusting to me. <laughs> I don't know. Like, look, I don't want to like be too generous to, to her. Is she just too stupid to understand? I honestly don't know if she's maybe just a complete retard. I'm watching this and I'm like, is she just really stupid? But then I feel that's too gracious because like, you know, you, you just don't know with these people. You literally can't tell. Like, are they hiding more pernicious views behind their stupidity? It, and, you know, is she just repeating the talking points she hears from other creators? Exactly. I don't want to be too generous to her because she, she turning into a drama probably has got some pernicious shit going okay. on. Thank you. Is that this girl, Frogan? Frogan. Who? Here, let me see. Frogan. Oh, Frogan? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. I, bear, I don't even really, I don't even know how to say her name. I just followed her because... Um, yeah, I never claimed to know him. I never claimed to know him. I was like, damn, like, the reason why he followed me is because uh, I helped organize uh, Chad Vice. And um, he followed me after Chad Vice. Um, All over a Twitter follow, eh? But I never claimed to like know him. I was like, damn, like, I don't know, whatever. Anyways, that's besides the point. That's besides the fucking point. You know, there was a lot of uh, mutuals that that were following her, and it's she seemed like a nice person. So um, that that's why I followed her. <laughs> she was a mod for Hassan, and me and Lena are friends with her as well. Oh, AB, oh my god, I feel so bad for AB. He's in the middle of this for fucking what? Save AB, man. Please save AB. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. So she seems like a nice person, but like most things, or like some people I'm seeing are just really um, leaving their humanity at the door when it comes to what's happening. The uh, can you? Yeah, I don't. You know, I don't know whether they're just wanting to let Ethan. Um... <laughs> I don't know. Is it? Is it that they just don't want to like fight with Ethan on air, or do they genuinely like not want to back her up because what she said is so insane? It's obviously difficult to know, for sure. But yeah, they're obviously they're saying they're friends with her and don't say anything for the entire segment that that Ethan's talking about. Her. Link me because I. All right, I just pulled up on Twitter. Would I be interested in talking to Ethan? I think you're going to talk past him the way he talked past you. 
I love both of you and this is gonna suck. I mean, I don't even know what he said yet. He, she seems like a nice person that called you to come back for 30 minutes. I guess we'll see. I mean, this started when she... Wait, yeah, he's saying that she seems like a nice person, but then when she started doing apologia for terrorist activities, that's when he had a problem. <laughs> so yeah, obviously he's calling her a scumbag for that. But what he's trying to say is, up until this point, he thought she was a nice person. I just qu oh, people quietly... People are so stupid, man. Okay, I didn't like the tweets she was making. I thought they were, like, leaning too much towards pro-Hamas. See, it's just an assumption. Why are you, why are you leaning towards me being pro-Hamas? Is it because I am an Arab Muslim girl? Is this, is this, is this the life of an Arab Muslim girl in the... It wasn't because of that. It was the words that you said that made people come to that conclusion. God, the, these people just... The fucking identity card slams down so fucking quick, doesn't it? You know? The, it's just... Maybe that's why she was making those jokes about the IDF, because she genuinely is so brain rotted with this identity shit is she thinks that Ethan is just going to defend the IDF just because he's Jewish, you know? Because she has this fucking brain rot too. It's nothing to do with that. I mean, okay... There's probably some people out there <laughs> and maybe banging that drum, but Ethan definitely is not. Ethan is looking at the words that you've said and coming to like reasonable conclusions off the back of it. The internet. I tweet something pro Palestine. Yeah, the funny hat I wear, yeah. The funny hat I wear, is that is that what's giving it pro Hamas? Because I don't fucking know, bro. I'm Lebanese too. I understand the situation. I don't think you realize that, chat. This is the first political situation I've ever become aware of. This was my childhood. Okay? This was my childhood. My family had to leave Lebanon because of the IDF. Just because you've got personal experience of an issue doesn't mean that you've got the expertise to talk about it. <laughs> Wouldn't that also potentially make you very biased and you need to be very cautious to not engage in bias in that situation? I mean, I don't know what her background is um, and what the background of this issue is. But really, just the IDF alone is what caused this? Hmm. Bit skeptical about that one. And I just didn't like it. I didn't want to see it. And so I fucking quietly unfollowed her. I didn't make a big deal. I didn't say anything. But, like, she got to turn it into this whole big thing. I didn't turn it into a big thing, though. I was just talking about it in amongst a dis... I shouldn't have said it in a Discord server. I'll admit that. I just, like I said, I was like, damn, like, this is one of my favorite content creators, and I got unfollowed. That turns into a drama that's now being posted all over the internet. Like... I'm sorry, it's a Twitter follow. It's not that serious, okay? First of all, and foremost, she said, uh, oh, here, let me just check my, my Twitter because I posted a screenshot of it. Yeah, he made it way bigger. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have talked about it on stream, okay? I just want to say that I, wouldn't, I wasn't going to talk about it on stream. <laughs> and how did it get... Get outside of the Discord server. I wonder what ready he took the screenshot out of. Yeah. Um. She posted like, "Yo, one of my." I just YouTubers. like, uh, yeah, okay. You got caught. What was it? The kids say, "You got caught lacking." I don't know. <laughs> Why does it fucking matter what Discord server it came, you know, where it came from at the end of the day? Like, you said it, it got publicized, you know, you made a comment publicly enough that someone noticed it and shared it and it became a drama. Yeah, that shit happens sometimes. Oh, let me find it. I didn't. It's annoying, that. but yeah, deal with it. I'm I don't sure know. Here. I said. Catch you slipping. That's it, yeah. Um, got caught gooning. Oh, God. I'm not. And by the way, people are probably saying horrible things about her, too, which is why I don't want to show this general uh spray of horrible shit that people are saying uh, oh thank you ab um i saw this okay 
That face when one of your favorite content creators unfollows you for being pro-Palestine. That feeling when? Like, first of all. I thought, I thought also, wait a second, yeah, I've, that's another aspect too. She publicly talked about it. Oh, wait a second, she on her own Twitter account said this. Obviously, people are then going to speculate on who that is, because people like fucking drama. TFW was that feeling when? Is it that face when? That is fucked up. Okay. What an idiot. Let's why would you... If you're acting like you didn't want this Second. to be a thing, why would you publicly on your own profile tweet about it? You know, I could even maybe understand, even though I think it's retarded still, because it happens. She's put it on a Discord server. It's got publicized. She publicized it herself by alluding to it. What? Hasn't this person been making content for years? If you vaguely mention something, people are going to want to know what... People are nosy buggers that love drama. They're going to fucking want to know what's what. If you don't want people to speculate and talk about an issue, don't mention it at all. Don't talk about it. Good of all. Crazy. Thank you I, for saying I'm your favorite content creator. I, mean, I said I one of my favorites, but damn, apparently... Not. Bro, listen. Am I even trying to make a joke right now? I've never met somebody I resonated with with Helen Keller before in my life. Okay? Crazy. I've never met somebody I had a mutual... mutual feeling of Helen Keller with before in my entire life. That put him up there, my favorite content creator. <laughs> <laughs> you know we appreciate all <clears throat> okay i'll pause at first i at first i was worried it was i did a thing no Thank you for the gifty. <laughs> we'll wait for the ad. Uh, uh, hold on, let me turn off. Oh, let me turn off. Waiting. I'll turn off ads. Right, listen, turn off ads. What? Um, Jesus, turn them up. If anything, if loads of people are watching, fuck that. How do I do that? Yeah, I'm not gonna watch all of this because we've been spending hours on this already. But I just wanted to get a little flavor of like what our response is gonna it. be. Hold on, let me figure it out. One second. Leave them on. Yeah, I know I should. Fuck it. I just want to get my story out there. That's my Okay, thing. here we go. What if you even story? make money, you can too. Okay. Oh my god, thank you for the 20. I appreciate you. Oh my god, you guys. Are the ads over? Jesus. Gifts going crazy. Okay, anyways, I like tell I said, you what, the fucking <laughs> the anti Zionist money seems to be pretty good. Maybe I should start fucking taking up some of these positions. Yeah, Palestine. Woo. As like, Ethan was one of my favorite content creators because I've never resonated with somebody before that I felt the same way about Helen Keller as I did. All right. I felt I've never felt so seen before in my entire life. So that put Ethan up there. Okay? Because that, that's a very niche thing. Also, right, doesn't this, doesn't this, yeah, someone just said it in chat, right? Someone just said it in chat. The fact that, like, she's professing to care about this and she, uh, you know, is turning it into this fucking drama farm. <laughs> oh, it's so, <laughs> so many people exposing themselves. I mean, to her credit, I suppose she has turned ads off, hasn't she? But she's still getting fucking sales hand over fist. People don't generally care, man. It is just, it's about the content, isn't it? It's about the content. This has all become why Ethan Klein unfollowed me. You know? Like, she's looking at this and, and capitalizing on the opportunity of this drama to make some content out of it and draw attention to herself. I don't know. Like, why not just go, okay, look, I know there's a lot of talk about this at the moment, but I'd, I'd rather talk about the plight of what's happening to the people in Gaza. You know, here's some links to donate to Gaza, to Gazan people, to Palestinian people, da da da. Nah, fuck that. Fucking <laughs> cream in the subs. Ethan Klein and follow me on Twitter. Let's go. You want to see me cry?
cry, honey. I'm not gonna cry. Say the joke again. I was saying it because there was an ad. All the, all the audience members, and I, and you know, I'm flattered by that. But saying I, you don't even know why I unfollowed you. you I'm know I, the, the thing is, I'm an, I, I assumed, I assumed why you unfollowed me because the only thing I've been tweeting about the last fucking week has been Palestine. The only thing I've been tweeting about the last fucking week has been Palestine. I don't think my big time rush tweets will make him unfollow me. Okay? I don't think it was a big time rush tweet. What else would it be? You, you don't have no information. We've never even talked. And so people start somehow, oh, you, here, this is how people figured out that it was me. Once again, I saw that and I wasn't going to say anything. It's like, whatever, fine. You know what I mean? Like, that. What's it called? So, oh, whatever. Yeah. Do whatever. whatever you want to do. I pause a lot, okay, to be fair. But uh, Jesus, this is a bit much. Can I watch it on 2.5 or 1.5 speed? Is that okay? Brad, thank you. So I guess this from her Discord got leaked. She said, e uh, Ethan Klein followed Frogan. This is from our subreddit, I think. <laughs> Ethan Frog was like, this damn Arab supports Hamas. That's not funny. But you think I do support Hamas, so it was true! You literally think I do support him also it was Giroud. Okay, okay. I this is absolutely unbearable to watch someone who is clearly so fucking low IQ. It's like watching someone with Down syndrome trying to wade through treacle. It's fucking impossible. Like obviously it's not true because he's not saying because you're Arab you support Hamas. It's because you said on Twitter that it's the revolution and should be supported. That's the in response to Hamas committing a terrorist atrocity. That's why he's saying it. Oh my god, man! How do we all watch this fucking shit? <laughs> it's unbelievable to me that someone could sit through. This is a fucking atrocity that I'm watching right now. Jesus, put back on the videos of the fucking slaughtered Israeli civilians. I'd rather watch that than this. Fuck me, this is horrendous. I made a joke about it. <laughs> <laughs> he literally kept saying I support Hamas. I mean, this is before I knew he thought I supported Hamas, but I was like, I'm just assuming he's probably like, oh, damn, this bitch supports Hamas. So I made a joke about him assuming. Uh, <laughs> I made a joke about him assuming that I supported Hamas. That's not funny at all. Like, the whole framing of this is really fucking uh, cruel. <laughs> <laughs> See, Ethan Klein didn't follow me, LMAO. Why am I sad, LMAO? Because I was sad. I was like... <laughs> And then I made a joke, Ethan, refollow me, I'll support, I'll support the idea if you follow me. That was a fucking joke. Okay? That was a joke as well. But the, the other joke, the first one I jo jo joked about turned out being fucking true. You know? He thought I, <laughs> he thought I supported Hamas, <laughs> which is why he unfollowed me. He literally, he literally said that in the beginning. He was like, yeah, I unfollowed her because her tweets, her tweets are pro-Hamas or support pro-Hamas, whatever. And I made a joke about it. It turned out being fucking true. Can we just okay. talk about, like, this is, like, right. the, the Guys, multiple times in, like, the on. last few months where I make a joke, and then I feel like it's because I'm a woman. People think I can't be funny. Or whatever. I can't make a joke, and, and suddenly it's, like, a personal attack. The problem is with this take as well is... It's what the jokes kind of reveal about her as well. Like this idea that, you know, this joke here about Ethan supporting the, about support, you know, I'll support the IDF if you follow me back, is premised on the idea that Ethan would support the IDF even though he doesn't support the IDF and has made numerous statements being critical of the IDF at numerous points in his fucking career. The only possible reason you could think that Ethan would support the IDF with everything that he said is because... He's Jewish. Okay, his wife is IDF is the stupidest fucking talking point going, okay? It's the most retarded talking point going when you actually listen to what Ethan says about things, especially when I already fucking addressed this. In Israel, you have to serve for two years. Like it's what is it called? National service or whatever that you have to do. So every Israeli citizen is going to be ex-IDF. I think there are some circumstances where you can object or something like that, but it's not as simple as just going, oh, I don't want to do it. I don't know how it fucking works. I'm not Israeli, obviously. But it's mandatory. It's fucking mandatory that you have to go and do that service. So a lot of people that are Israeli are going to be ex-IDF. Yes, correct. But that does not speak to whether or not Ethan is going to be pro-IDF, right? 
What, you're saying that Frogan typed this out thinking, oh, well, Ethan's wife is IDF and therefore he probably supports the IDF. No, it's because he's Jewish. Come on, use your fucking brain. Whether she's anti-Semitic or not, I mean, there's a strong argument for it. I don't know. I don't like throwing around allegations of anti-Semitism directly. I don't know. It's a bit cringe sometimes, but the, the, the evidence is there, okay? Whether or not she is or not on her heart, who fucking knows? But it's a very weird thing to say that Ethan would support the IDF when he explicitly doesn't, even as a joke. The joke works on the fact that he would support the IDF. And why would you think that beyond him being Jewish? Play the clip. Play what clip? Women can't tell jokes online. <laughs> they aren't allowed. Yeah, I've realized that. I mean, you know, her audience definitely is. Her audience is talking about him being a Zionist and shit like that at certain points. I've realized that. Yeah, he literally said her tweets were leaning towards pro Hamas. He assumed first. Exactly. So why is that first joke making him mad? When that's literally what he thought from my tweets. It's just like, I don't understand why he's actually so offended by this when he's made fucking edgier jokes way back then, too. I don't even think this is edgy. This is like fucking lukewarm. You know? Support the IDF. Are you following me? I don't support the IDF either. It's not funny. That made me laugh. So, that's the framing of it. And then the reason I unfollowed her because apparently she wants to know. It's because of this tweet. I figured. I knew. I knew exactly. As soon as I saw him follow me, I knew it was that because of that tweet. Because. Right. What's your explanation for okay. this? Five head. I knew. I, I figured. I'm like, okay. Like, he definitely won't follow me because of that. Specifically, and a few others, but this is the one that I, that I was like, I don't want to see this anymore. She said, leftists preach and foam at the mouth at the thought of a revolution happening in America. But as soon as it happens in the Middle East, what they're doing is wrong. Now, this, to me, I'm interpreting this as... um. Let me read my bro. I don't want to. I don't want to say anything uh, out of pocket, but I don't fucking like that. People are talking about me unfollowing Frogan, so explain why. Since she wants to talk about murdering children and burning families alive in their safe houses, is not a revolution. It's a massacre. And if you think that's what revolution is supposed to look like, I'm terrified for your idea of an American re revolution. Okay? She goes, but as soon as it happens in the Middle East, what they're doing is wrong. She's implying that what Hamas is doing is right. I mean, she's basically all but saying it. She's saying, as soon as a revolution happens in the Middle East, then all of a sudden what they're doing is wrong. The thing is, chat. Okay. How could? What is the possible response to that? The only thing I, if it was me and I was caught on the hook for something like this, okay, I mean, I don't, I, I, I personally just would never get behind a terrorist organization. That's my, that's my trick to not get into this sort of thing. But for me, you would surely talk about how Twitter is a short form thing or something like that, or talk about how it was misinterpreted or something. What is the response going to be? The day I went live, the day I went live after, what is he on about? Right. The day I went live, the day after, I took Saturday off uh, because I did feel like streaming anyways. And I'm like, you know what? Good. I'm glad I took it off because that's when my tweet went viral and shit was hitting the fan. So I went live on Sunday evening, which is what I usually go live in the evenings. And I talked about it. I was like, you know, um, I don't want violence on any side. Like, I don't think rape, I don't think murder is, like, of civilians. is Like, is a, it shouldn't be a thing. I've said that. Like, I spoke against it. I don't understand why I have to, like, fucking end every fucking tweet of me talking about uh, right. <laughs> me talking about what's going on in Palestine. Oh, I don't support what, Hamas. What do part of what happened was the revolution? Was it the music festival slaughtering the people at the music? Was it the going into the kibbutzes or whatever they're called and slaughtering whole family? Where's where's the revolution here? What is the fucking revolution in any of it? There is no fucking revolution. It was just a terrorist atrocity. That's literally it. That's literally all it was. There's no other fucking view to it at all. There's no revolution there whatsoever. And yes, yeah, some revolution. I tell you what, I'm looking at some of these images of Gaza. There's not much of a fucking revolution to me. I'll tell you what. How come uh, people that are pro-Israel don't have to be like, oh yeah, by the way, I don't support the genocide of Palestinians. <laughs> Ethan, that's exactly what Ethan did. The how can this person claim to be a fan of Ethan and know nothing about them? Ethan, numerous times, he put a statement out. In his video, when he spoke about it initially, he said explicitly that the genocide of the Palestinians is wrong. Like, he went way further than he even needed to to fucking criticize it, because it seems like genuinely that is what he believes. This person has just not got any idea about anything that Ethan has said about this, and is just working, you know, 
I mean, in some ways, is still doing the thing where she's acting like Ethan is some hardcore pro-Israeli shoe. I ha why do I have to keep reiterating my stance on Hamas to take away from what's going on in Palestine right now? Oh, yeah, by the way, yeah, I don't support Hamas. By the way, it's going to take away from the whole fucking movement. How hard is it to get it through your fucking head? What? How is criticizing a mask conducting a terrorist attack going to take away from the movement? Surely you don't want them as part of your movement, no? They're a terrorist organization. Okay, that's interesting. And I've literally, I mean, clearly he unfollowed me so he didn't see the other tweets. I talked about it in other tweets. I retweeted other tweets too. Okay? Now, I do understand why, um, like, I mean, I, I feel like the way I articulate things might not be as crispy as, um, as other people do it, okay? Like, I know a lot about it, but at this point, it's just like, it's, it's, my standpoint is coming from educa an educational standpoint, but I can acknowledge that I do feel very emotional about the topic, okay? It's something close to home for me. It's a topic I'm passionate about. Um, yeah, so it, it's not like I'm talking about like public health where I could like tweak it like right on the fly. You get what I mean? Do you get what I mean? And then I tweeted this as soon as, um, as soon as I saw it like break out because I was up when it happened. Okay, I was up when it happened. That I mean, but that's that's a problem too because this is again the lesson of like responding instantly to breaking news, and I think that some people, as I said before, will have tweeted something out or said something without knowing the full extent of it, only to have to realize later that they've tweeted out in support of a terrorist attack and then have to walk it back. But she doesn't really seem to be wanting to walk it back. She's trying to act like all along she was saying how bad all the death was, but that's not what she was saying at all. She was cheering it on at the time. At four o'clock in the morning Eastern. I can't watch more of this, up. man. This is All right. dire. dire and then I do want to add something. People were talking about, oh, Frogan's not crying about the death. She's more focused about uh, crying over mischief saying shit. It's just like, literally, like, eat your fucking words. Because the point that people were trying to make is that you were deeply upset about some stupid streamer clout shit, which, funnily enough, she is again with this Ethan Klein thing. You were upset because... Um, there were, you know, uh, Miskiff threw shade at you in a backhanded way, and you were crying about it on stream. But when, like, the bodies aren't even cold, you are completely, uh, you know, psychotic, supporting out, um, you know, tweeting out and support the people that committed the terrorist atrocity. That was what people were trying to point out: is you've got tears for yourself for some bullshit clout streamer reason, but you've got like zero sympathy for dead civilians. It's like a total inconsistency. You guys, a lot of you guys, a lot of people on the internet. To me, this isn't something new. Ever since I was able to have a single fucking thought, my dad would watch Al Jazeera all fucking day. He'd even sleep with right? him because he thought... Al Jazeera! Al Jazeera! Isn't that owned by the fucking Saudi state or something like that? That's like a massively biased news organization. Massively anti-fucking Israel. Sleeping with the news on would make him fucking absorb the news. All right? But that's beside the point. Oh, Qatari, is it? Qatar, okay. Well, all, all mixes I together for me. Ever since I was a kid, okay. Imagine in 2006, you you get out for summer, you want your your school's out for summer. summer. No, listen, Al Jazeera is not like an unreasonable news source to use at any point. Like sometimes they might say something that's true, just because they've got a bias doesn't mean that's the case. But I'm saying that you know, if you want to look at like Israel and and discussion about Israel. Al Jazeera is probably not a particularly good organization if you want, you know, a well-rounded perspective on Israel. Um, you know, all of their coverage recently has been explicitly pro-Palestine, anti-Israel with no nuance or discussion whatsoever, you know? Summer vacation. And then all Thank of a sudden... Thank you, Queen Man. Appreciate you. News and Lebanon's being bombed. And you're like, oh, fuck, like, my friends are going to Lebanon right now for summer vacation. Okay. Yeah, trigger warning, Dad. Yeah, trigger warning, Dad. Oh, okay. My sister said he has an eye right now.
you know? I have no tears left to cry. I'm going to be completely honest. I don't have tears left to cry. At this point, I'm very angry. I've been angry. But to, unfortunately, all the tears were taken up crying about stupid streamer award drama that was, had no stakes and was totally pointless and meaningless. It's not, even a sad, it's like not even a sad angry anymore. You realize it's an issue whenever you see the burnt bodies of Palestinian kids or the ones with rubble all over their dead bodies. You can't even cry anymore because I'm so desensitized to it because it's been going on for fucking years. This isn't something new, okay? Bad stuff's happening here as well. Like, it's just, what about ism? I just think. And I'm a very emotional person as well when it comes to this topic. But I'm not going know, to man. generalize. Listen, I, I don't know if I can watch anymore. I've watched as much as I can stomach, okay? I've watched, like, what? Th half an hour. I don't know how I can stomach any more of this. Is it because I just don't agree with her that I find it so horrendous to listen to? I don't know. <laughs> Did I just like what he... No, no, no. Even when Ethan says stuff that I don't agree with, I can watch him because of the way he speaks is quite clear, direct to the point. He maybe loops, but he kind of tells a narrative and paints a picture and he talks fairly well. Do you know what I mean? It just... It also... It's, I don't want to be too generous to this person, but they just seem very low IQ. They just seem very stupid. Like, I just, the way they talk, it's almost like they can't grasp, like they can't understand what they've said here and the implications of it. They don't get it. They don't seem to get what, what they've said is so bad. And they're still trying to, like, defend it. Are they just completely retarded? Like, I don't know. I don't want to act like someone that's actually got bad views doesn't. But this is hardly like a, you know, a high, this is hardly like a high, a high level analysis or view of what's going on it just seems like retardation and ideology blended together no i've never listened to a talk about politics before i'm not making i'm no no listen down syndrome people have got a lot of good about them i'm not trying to have a go at them okay it's an insult to people with down syndrome to use that i shouldn't have done that it was wrong 